Mastering is a lot like a walk in the forest. It has a lot of benefits, but if you don't know what you're doing or where you're going, you can get lost in a hurry. Hello? But the good news is, Isotope has a solution that will help you find your path. Or something like that. Why don't you join me? I should have said signal path. Today, I'm gonna to be checking out Ozone 10 from Isotope. Ozone is Isotope's flagship mastering application. It's a number of modules wrapped around some serious artificial intelligence. So if you're looking for a self-mastering option and you're a beginner, it's gonna guide you through the process. If you're a professional, it's gonna help you get your work done a lot quicker. Plus it's gonna provide sonic possibilities just not available with traditional tools. So we're gonna look at some of the newest features in Ozone 10 Advanced. And uh, it is primarily a mastering application, but the individual components of Ozone are also available as individual plugins that you can use within your mix. And I stumbled on something, I don't know if it was intended for this purpose, but it's already becoming a little secret weapon in my mixing. I'm gonna share that a little bit later in the video. Now I have to say, I've been using Ozone for quite a few years now, uh, but Isotope did provide a copy for this review. I'm not being paid, but just wanted to mention that for what it's worth. All right, so let's jump into Ozone 10 and check out some of those new features. At the core of Ozone 10 is the Mastering Assistant. Now we've seen Isotope continuing to develop their AI. We saw it in Neutron 4, which I covered. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that one out. And we're seeing it here again in Ozone 10. Now, if you've never used Ozone, that's a magic button. You just click it, it analyzes your track, and then it creates a recommended uh, mastering processing chain. Now you can go into the individual modules and make all your tweaks. You've also got some high level tweaking from the Mastering Assistant page where the tonal balance curve allows for easy metering. The improved AI engine delivers powerful matching technology for tone, dynamics, and width, giving your mastering a solid starting point. It's very versatile. Uh, you're not locked into what it's giving you. And if you're more experienced, you can go in and do exactly what you feel that it needs. But it really is a great tool if you're looking to work quickly. Now, those modules I talked about, there's some new ones, which I wanna talk about, and a new feature that's been added to Maximizer that's highly requested. All right, let's check out the first of those new features. Stabilizer is described by Isotope as an intelligent and adaptive mastering EQ. Well, let's see how it works. Stabilizer has two main modes. Shape mode is designed to help you achieve good tonal balance with intelligent boosts and cuts and the ability to tame transients, adjust the contour of the tonal corrections and control the dynamic range. The low adjustment allows you to dial in the amount of tonal correction you want below 100 Hz. The mid setting lets you control the amount of processing between 100 Hz and 5.6 kHz and the high adjustment covers everything above 5.6 K. The cut mode is designed to cut frequencies strategically to tame resonances and harshness. The effects here are subtle, so you can engage delta mode so you can solo the frequencies you are suppressing. You also have the same low, mid, and high settings to control the amount of processing you desire. While the effects here are subtle, you can easily see where the adjustments are being made. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you want to jump into some deeper conversations with me, some of my friends, even some other YouTubers, I've got the Lonely Rockers Club on Facebook. It's a bunch of people who love making music and love talking about it. Great place to hang out. Link is in the description. Hope to see you there. In essence, Impact is a multi-band compressor expander, but really, it's a lot more than that. This module is a good example of Isotope's results-oriented approach. 
Impact is a results-oriented multiband compressor expander that can react to the tempo of your music. A lot of those new to mixing struggle to understand the functions of a compressor. Impact has features that drive you to a pleasing end result. And for experts, it allows you to achieve sonic results not possible with traditional compressors. The user-definable bands allow you to expand or compress within the same curve, and the delta allows you to hear the difference so you can hone right into the areas you're trying to address. And the groove feature makes the attack and release respond to the time of the music instead of in milliseconds, producing very musical results and delivering air and clarity. Maximizer is arguably the feature that's most used in Ozone, but it's always lacked a specific feature that's forced some users to go outside of the plugin. But that's been rectified with this new feature right here. Yes, there's now a soft clipper in Maximizer, and Isotope has gone right after the competition and delivered something a lot better. It's a lot better because it's a high fidelity soft clipper that gives you a loudness boost with minimal distortion. Called the Magnify Soft Clip, it is connected to the Maximizer's threshold, so gain staging is automatic. It's a great feature to use as a last stage polish, bringing your tracks further forward and adding even more punch and clarity. And it offers three levels of saturation with the light setting saturating three decibels below the threshold, the moderate setting kicking in at nine decibels below the threshold, and the heavy soft clip shape saturating at 30 decibels below the threshold. So combining the type and amount of soft clipping with built-in gain matching helps you make your last refinements quickly and accurately. And now for that little mixing discovery. I often put an EQ as the first plugin in my chains on my tracks, especially for guitars. I like to EQ out the harshest frequencies that I know I don't need before I process the signal. I tried using the standalone stabilizer plugin instead of an EQ to see what it would do. On guitars, I'm always cutting between 1 and 2K. Look at this. It's recommending a cut right around 2K with a little cut in the bottom end. I use the low, mid, and high sliders to focus this correction to the most offending areas. I have found this is a much more dynamic way to tame the harshest frequencies while preserving the rest of the signal for the rest of my plug-in chain. I've even tried this on the drum bus to remove some boxiness and to tame transients. Give it a try on different tracks to see what it does for you. You know, I can't contain my enthusiasm for Ozone. I've been using it for years. I mean, long before I was reviewing plugins, I was a paid customer of Isotope. It is a mainstay on all of my projects. Now, if I have bigger budgets and I can afford a mastering engineer, listen, I, I love professionals every step of the way, but the realities of production today, especially with a guy like me, I'm pumping content out of the studio on a weekly basis and I need to get it mastered properly. It needs to sound good for you guys, my videos and other productions that I'm doing here. And it's been a savior for me having it here and it just keeps getting better and better. It's just so fun to watch the evolution of this product and uh, the artificial intelligence getting smarter and smarter and just adding really usable tools, right? Sometimes taking the thought process out of it and just pushing it to completion. Cause ultimately for me, that's what matters here. I need to get things done and I just can't waste time figuring things out. So for something as complex as mastering, 
uh, isotopes really made it palatable for a lot more people. And really, it's not taking away any control for you professionals out there. I think you get the best of both worlds. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. I'll put a link in the description. It comes in a couple of different flavors. So check it out and see which one is right for you. Now, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you want to do a deeper dive with me, I'm on Patreon. I have affiliate links. I have merch. All sorts of ways to support this channel. It's all in the description. Every little bit helps, and I appreciate that. But the most important thing is to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. I look forward to seeing you again in another video.